How's it going everyone? I'm Louis Crypto and today we have so much news to dive into. Bitcoin's huge bullish signal, a scary bearish pattern that could be about to play out and drag all altcoins lower and my top picks for the next altcoin season. A lot to dive into today so we will split it up between the good, the bad and the ugly. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe on both social media platforms to stay up to date with all things crypto. Now let's start off with the good. Now for me personally, the belief is that the Bitcoin bottom is in. And the reason for that bias, which is nothing as a surprise to you because it has been explained multiple times here on the channel, is about what happened down here at 59k and 56k. In fact, when this candle came in, I was already suggesting this could be the bottom because we were hitting reversal targets of the Fibonacci where we expect pumps coming from. However, it needed to take advantage and reclaim the lost levels. Now, if I'm placing the Fib on that, and I'm looking at this as the pivot point that gave us the new all-time high, almost at 74K, then both of these levels are a point of interest to myself, but it's all within that 59K range, that 59K level. Uh, but so yes, this is why I was essentially saying all the way back then in May, that if we ever, re and this was back on that 56K day on the 1st of May, I was saying, this can be the bottom if we now see the reclaim of the lost low, 59,000, and we maintain it as support. Now a week passed, and then we came back to it as support and maintain it, forming an actual new higher low. So we've got four key points right over here. And uh, you can see that uh, these two are our key level that we need to maintain. We lost it. Now this is bearish. The expectation from this point is continuation down to the 200 EMA. But because we're above this 200 day average and 200 days is over half way through the year, it's telling us how long and how long we expect it to be above and be in an uptrend essentially. And while we're maintaining this, expect long term consequences. This is how we actually get those 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 X's across the board. But it also depends on the market cap of the crypto that you are in. Don't expect 50 X's across the board and all large caps. It might happen for one or two, absolutely. But it's not a common thing. Look at lower market caps. I can obviously help you all with that. If you join my community, all the links you need are found down below. Let's continue with the good, which is that we believe the bottom is in all because of what happened down over here. Now, this is all occurring above the 200 EMA. It's fine to even get down to that price point, but it doesn't need to be the case. We are just looking for any bullish sort of signal that appears before this point. And we can see that we lost the low, which is now bearish and should send us to the clear bottom of the trend, the 200 daily EMA. But by reclaiming that lost level, you're no longer bearish until this point. So we would have got down here and then we would have turned around and broken out 74K anyways. So it was just going to continue a little bit lower and then it would have reversed and we would have and we would put a new high. But we didn't even need to get down that low, showing the strength in Bitcoin to flip the trend and yeah, reverse the trend when it's meant to continue lower for a, a last flush out, let's say. And then we've reclaimed the low and formed this inverse head and shoulders pattern. These are not bearish things. What is bearish? We formed a bearish cross after losing the low. So you'd assume retest this as resistance for continuation. Now, some bears might say, no, we needed a pullback to this newly formed bearish cross to confirm it as resistance, which you did. So if you're confirming a newly formed bearish cross that is not even a week old and you're confirming it, why are we not getting the consequences that is suggesting? And now that's because the bulls are in power. Until we reach certain resistance levels where the bears just step in and protect it because at all costs, they're trying to suppress Bitcoin. And that's why unfortunately, because we're not getting that new all time high, you're seeing across the board, altcoins getting hurt. And we will talk about that later, but let's stick to the good. But yeah, short term, you're going to expect uh, the altcoins low because we're not getting that strength with Bitcoin. When you get a new all time high, there's no argument anymore. There are no resistance up ahead. The bears have no case. They have a case while we're underneath the last and final resistance ahead. So that's why they're trying to suppress price as long as possible. But we're already seeing, and I've already mentioned this a few weeks ago now, this head and shoulders that is forming an inverse one. So with bullish consequences, 
similar to what we actually spotted and gave totally free on this channel tradable as well uh, and if you're not doing that this is why you need to take action on those uh, things that I'll plug later on in the video and uh, yeah so we had a small version pretty much of what's going on right now a much larger a macro version of this that is set you know nearly spent the whole year accumulating uh, doing and we're still in the process of creating this right shoulder and it can come down and we will talk about that now in the bad but just to end off already confirmed going forward because of what happened here at 59 and 56k we are projecting bitcoin to see a correction between the prices of 79 and 86k and at that point you know we could reject from the earlier or the latter but this will not be considered my personal top we might see deep corrections once again anywhere as deep as minus 60 minus 75 percent across the board for altcoins before the final move up to around 100k this is the final move for this current fibonacci and we've only got this fibonacci target from this move down to 56k so what you need to understand is that this dip was good because it's resetting the market and with this dip you're creating a huge rip my saying that i teach to all my students the bigger the dip the bigger the rip and that is what always keeps them calm getting ready for the next macro move up not short term not micro we're not caring about this potential micro top that i've already mentioned to you guys over the last few updates over the last week so let's now dive into the bad although the belief is that we do make a new all-time high there is still a chance of a flush out so this is what i'm seeing at the moment for bitcoin and i'll lead on to alts in the next section the ugly <laughs> but pretty much you can see at the moment that there is that gap and uh, there are a whole bunch of charts that i need to uh, dive into with you with multiple different Fibonacci. So let's go ahead and do that right now. But you can see that gap. And if uh, Bitcoin is not taking out that 20 EMA, getting that break of the all-time high, which is what we need. So again, reverting back to the good, we need to maintain this. We need to break out above the moving averages and then we'll slowly, slowly work our way to a new all-time high. Can we get rejected again and build up? Absolutely. But the next movement, um, even regardless of whether we see a move down, we believe the bottom is in. But the bad is that there is that gap right there for a move down. And this would, of course, affect the whole altcoin market. So let's now look at those potential support targets. Message me for some one-to-one -one mentorship. Again, the link to the website is also down below, whether you want one-to-one -one mentorship, the ebook, or my Discord community. So I'm about to show you three different sets of fibs with targets to the downside. And for the very first image, we can see with my fib level on our last higher low which was the first higher low of this newly formed uptrend it's the higher low where we lost 59k went down to 56k and then reclaimed 59k because we confirmed that area as support and that specific lowest wick is the one fib at $60,158 and this is exactly the pivot point we used to get back up to that previous all-time high or close to it, 72K. Uh, then we want to measure this movement up because this was our last low. And then from that low, we had this movement up to this resistance where we've now formed a micro double top. And we can now clearly see that this micro double top breakdown has led price into this current golden pocket where we've already seen a support wick rejection of the 0.65 uh, Fibonacci at 64,000, exactly. Now, the, your question might be, what is this blue line at 64,900? It's the first bull market uh, top of the last bull market. So last bull market in 2021, we had two tops and the first one is this line. The second one was 69,000. So we're at that first one. And that is what we need to do. We need to hold it as support for continuation lower. If we ever do see a loss of this level, it very quickly needs to be reclaimed. But remember, reverting back to the good, we were saying 56, 59 and 60K, which is where this one fib level is at currently, is a huge area of macro support. So 
as long as we maintain that area, we will eventually reclaim this 65k previous bull market first top. And remember, guys, we don't need this to happen. Of course, that's what we're trying to do at the moment. We're trying to roll over. I showed you that gap. Now, in this image, I've actually placed the fib from the 56k low instead of the higher low that reclaimed the lost 59k level. So we're just measuring the entire movement up from the exact bottom. And that is actually suggesting that we haven't met any Fibonacci targets for support. And that is why there is more validity with this micro top that I shared with you over a week ago. Now, with this Fibonacci setup, we can see the micro top validation. That's the loss of the one Fib level, $66,259. And you can see already today we have unfortunately rejected it. This is the level that needs to be reclaimed for us to get that next move in the next few weeks where we are looking to break the all time high, but we can stall it off by maybe a month or even two months if we are to break down. I know that sounds really annoying, but it's just how it works. Things can change very quickly. You know, if, if by the next few days we are reclaiming the one fib level and we are reclaiming the 20 EMA, and I'm more than happy to make another update and say, oh, look, the next move is literally the next direct move as well uh, is a, as in the immediate short term is the new all time high. But even though we are going down, even though we're in this micro top and we are going down at the moment with this micro double top, we're still on the path to make a new all time high. Please do understand that it's just like the very immediate short term, like day by day, you know, uh, we're trying to find that pivot point low to bounce from and then go on that path where we are breaking uh, breaking out and making that new high but we need to of course hold that 65k first top from the last bull market in 2021 and then reclaim this 66k one fib level and you can see clearly we're underneath it today even in fact we've rejected it although we have met the 1414 that's why we're getting this push up but the one fib level is a key level of previous support now as resistance so now it's about maintaining this area where we are currently at the 1272 is very funnily enough exactly on that 2021 first top and but then we've got a target down at the 1618 mark this out as an area that's what i would suggest so an area between the 1272 and the 1618 62,950 dollars this is technically speaking a bottoming out area and at that point if you are going back down to the 1618 Going back to that last chart, there are targets we have not met, as I just showed. But uh, on this one, you know, if we are meeting that 1618, those targets are getting met. And so that's why that's why there's a bit more validity to this downside. Uh, but it's just short term. We still maintain that our belief is the bottom is in because, as you can see from these bearish targets, they're all actually appearing above 56K, the lowest one being 58.9, as well as the 200 EMA also above 56K. And the time that it does take, if it wants to get down as low as those two Fibonacci targets at 58.9 and 60.9K, if it wants to get down there, it will take a few weeks. It won't be instant. And the accumulation that it'll take will be a few weeks. This is why I'm saying if we hold the current level now, we go up from here, we reclaim the one Fib, we reclaim the 20, you know, and in the next couple of weeks, in the next few weeks, we'll be going up to a new all-time high. But if we're breaking down from this exact very moment, you know, it's a different story. Unfortunately, we're prolonging that. It's still going to happen. We're still going to make a new all-time high, but it's just, you know, stalling off that process, which is just so very annoying because what does that now entail if we now move over to the ugly? So I have to explain what this potential small dump on Bitcoin actually entails for the altcoins. And that's why this is part of the ugly section because there is potential for an altcoin bloodbath. It's not what you want to hear, but it would be the last flush out. This is one of the best examples out there because a lot of cryptos have been accumulating for the last few months, even in fact, throughout April, all the way until June, just the last few days, have we lost that accumulation period. And that was meant to accumulate to go up. But as you can see, we've got the movement down on this chart that lost 15 cent and then we've fallen to a next key level of support down at 11 cent but after today's movement up 
earlier today with Bitcoin and altcoins were starting a movement up from yesterday. We've come into that multi-month accumulation, but now as resistance. And we can also see that the moving averages are over its head, which is now a suggestion that this move up is a false move up to trick everyone. It's a bull trap to actually go lower where this could then, as you can see, a big space between losing 11 cents down to around 7 cent, the previous all time high where we saw the last correction, very similar to this one. So that's why I do believe across the market, there is still room for a third, further minus 30 to maybe even minus 50 plus percent move down from these current prices. Now, is it a final nail in the coffin? Is this actually happening? It's only going to happen with Bitcoin losing that 65K support and heading down to those bearish targets that I just showed you in the bad section. So please, before you leave, make sure you like, subscribe, comment and share so we can hit 10K. And I really want to know your thoughts about the current market situation uh, in the comment section below. I put a lot of effort into this. So if you could share it on social media platforms and spread the word, that would be lovely. Let me know if you enjoyed this sort of format or videos. And do not forget that we have a Discord community, one to one mentorship plan and an ebook that's pretty much 40 pages long, giving you a strategy on how to make money with the Fibonacci's in the bear market, let alone when it's in an easy market such as the bull. But if you want to become a self-sufficient trader, the best way is taking action on the one-to-one -one mentorship. I sit with you there over video calls, sharing each other's screens through Discord, and I will teach you into a self-sufficient trader, someone of my level where you won't even need my guidance after this. We have many multi six figure earners that have come to me with less than 5K, with less than 10K or 20K, and are now multi six figure traders, all because of the market cap areas for the cryptos we are really interested in. And it will take time, but if you do, if you do not have a time horizon, that and you have a long term mentality with discipline and you will be consistent, then reach out to me. You can message me on Twitter. You can see in throughout the whole video, it's in the top left corner or use all the links you need to navigate through my website or to head over to the Twitter linked down below in the pinned comment section and the description of the video. I'd love to see more of you in the community. We've got over 100 people in there. And we'd love to see that grow to 200 as the next goal. All my altcoins, you'll find them split uh, nicely with each percent in each in the Discord as well, as on top of the live streams. Cheers, everyone.